goes like this. If there are two people involved in a business out there, traditionally one person knows how to make it and the other person knows how to what? Sell it. I heard someone say spend it. <laughs> that is the wrong answer. That's family finance. Selling it, right? Making it and selling it. That's what people do who start businesses. The financial side of the business is often left to whom? The accountant, the banker, your spouse, or maybe nobody. We'll just hope it works. Now there's a lot of recent research that indicates that hope is not a strategy, right? So the thing is, where does this, the financial side, who takes care of it? And when does it take and get taken care of and why? I think it has to do with attitudes. And I think those attitudes are important because it's human nature to do what you do well, isn't it? When do we do what we don't do so well? Later, right? And when does later come? Never, Never if you plan it prop too late, exactly. <laughs> Never if you plan it properly, right? It also comes about in the way, in the attitudes we have about finance itself. Finance is, what's the first word that comes into your mind? Boring. <laughs> Don't sugarcoat it. Tell it like it is. <laughs> finance is boring. Why do people believe finance is boring? Why is that? Because it is? Is that what someone said? <laughs> they don't understand it. They don't what? They don't understand, they don't understand it. it. What I've learned is, it's not, what we're going to do in this program, Profit Mastery, creating value and building wealth in your business, we're going to take a trip through the financial structure of a company. In my mind, it's not boring at all. It's a terrific, exci terrifically exciting trip, and it will give us some insights into how that money flows and how we can manage it. That's what I really want to do. What I have learned, although it's not finance that's boring, anything that affects your wallet ought to be of interest to most of us, don't you think? but it's financial people who are boring. That's the problem. <laughs> so what we're going to try to do is make this topic, finance, come alive. We've got some case studies that we're going to work through together to illustrate the points. But we're going to try to make it come alive. All right? That's kind of our goal here. Um, what else? Anything else about finance? I think sometimes people are afraid of it. Why? We fear what we don't, don't understand. And our job, our goal, my goal today is to really, well, three goals really. One is to demystify finance, to really take the, take the um, mystery out of the numbers. We'll give a plain English process, okay? To give that process, Simple, keep it simple. We'll work through it and give you the confidence to apply these tools in your own business when you leave.